What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Sonic Tech once again, and today I'm going to go over how to properly use two power supplies in your mining rig, so stick around. All right, so to get things started off, in a lot of cases, especially if you start putting so many GPUs in your mining rig, that it's literally impossible to run a single power supply or just for cost effectiveness, whether that's because a 1500 watts gonna cost way more than buying two 750 watts, you might want to run two power supplies in a single system. This guide also will apply to any dual power supply gaming systems or other systems you may be trying to build, maybe some sort of custom home network storage application or some sort of home server application whatever that cause may be of course I got your back here so to let you guys know what you need right off the bat it's just gonna be a simple part one single part that you can actually pick up at USA Miner Depot I will leave my affiliate link in the description below as well as an affiliate link to the Amazon equivalent if I can find it essentially what it is it's a, it's a 24 pin power splitter or just a splitter in general except the only difference here is the secondary power coming off or the part of the splitter it only has two cables or wires going into it that's because all it is doing is tripping the second power supply to turn on when those two cables make connection so that's coming off the motherboard so at this point you're secondary power supply will get the signal from the motherboard that it's supposed to come on so to do go ahead and install this all you're going to do is unplug your power supply from the motherboard replace it with the main splitter end so this the the female end of the splitter and plug that into the motherboard then you'll want to go ahead and plug the two 24 pin plugs coming off of your power supplies into the splitter now I choose to use the power supply that's also plugged into the four pin power adapter on my motherboard to the main plug which is the plug with all 24 cables going into it give or take <laughs> the other one is the one I'll use with the splitter with the two two wires going into it and I'll go into my secondary power supply which is powering additional GPUs in this case once you've done all that, you should be good to go and give it a test boot, whether you decide to use a power button or like in my case, I just tell the system to power on when the power is switched on. If you're curious on how to do that, you can take a look at my BIOS settings for the MSI motherboard and that'll go over the auto power on when it senses power delivered to the motherboard. So I just got it all booted back up and everything is running perfectly. I hope this helps some of you all out and if it does, be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comment section if there are other options you are interested in. Of course, I used to just jump it, but that's kind of problematic because if it's not powering on with the motherboard, it can cause some other weird funky issues like when you shut down the PC, you still have three graphics cards running or whatever, and that's just not ideal. So this is the ideal correct way to run two power supplies for your mining rig. Once again, thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you next Tuesday.